Well guys, it's uh, well, I don't know about 6 o'clock in the morning here. I'll tell you what, there's just such a big difference with, you know, um, the east side and the west side here on the Cascades. Very, um, very arid. You know, I mean, if you have problems with your nose, I'm telling you what, this is the place to live. <laughs> I mean, you dry out, I mean, you can smell again. And you know, really, it's just, it's beautiful. I mean, here, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. You know, let's, let's kind of zoom in a little bit here. I mean, you know, you don't see this over in Western Washington because everything's so covered with trees. So anyway, uh, let me get a little bit of uh, perspective here. All right, see if I can kind of cut some of this sunlight out. Anyway, I don't know if you guys can see it through the sun here. But anyway, this is the place where I'm staying. It's uh, called the Alpine Rose. And uh, it's just a really nice place. You know, I mean, the people are really nice. They got a great breakfast. And, you know, I mean, staying here during the week is, is actually kind of cheap. I mean, you know, this was only, uh, this was only like 110 bucks a night. I mean, you know, that's with your breakfast and everything, and it's not a cheap breakfast either. I mean, they, they really dole it out. I mean, you got the eggs and the hash browns, the bacon, the ham, you know, everything. And they serve breakfast right around 8.30. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go for a little morning walk, and uh, I'll be checking back in with you guys. Well, hey, guys. Uh, we're here at the Alpine Rose. And what I would like to do is I'd like to go ahead and uh, kind of turn you on to this place. Thank you very much. This is our concierge right here. Very good dude. What was your name? Grayson. Grayson. Okay. Now let's take a look around here in the lobby. As you can see, you get a little bit more than just your average breakfast here. Uh, they set it up, you know, as a smorgasbord. Everybody lines up, gets their plates and everything, and they've got fruit. They've got uh, fruit cocktail. Uh, what else do they have here? Oh, take a look at that. Got French toast. Got sausages. Orange juice, apple juice, water, milk. You got cereal. Um, all the coffee you can drink. Got a nice little lounging area here for friends and stuff. You can kind of sit around and, you know, talk about the day and stuff when you guys go out. This is the, uh, this is the back deck here. You know, if you want to eat your breakfast out here and are you there, just sit back and relax. There's uh, plenty of room out here. You know, and like I said, you know, everything is done up in, you know, the German style. You know, this is a, this is a German town, Leavenworth. They also have a uh, heated pool. And they also have a hot tub, you know. So uh, all you got to do is just make arrangements, tell them when you're going to be in there, and boom. You know, you're all set. So anyway, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's just, it's stunning to me. I mean, you know, I, granted, I'm from over there in, you know, western Washington. And you come over here to eastern Washington, it's very arid, it's dry. My nose is finally, you know, <laughs> uh, it's cleared up. This is just, this is really nice area. So anyway, let's go back in here. Anyway, what I'd like to do is I'd like to go ahead and give you guys the phone number here so that you can go ahead and, uh, you know, get situated. If you guys ever want to give this place a call if you're up here in Washington State. So let's kind of zoom in here. Okay, there you go, right there. Alpine Rose in. There's the number. And uh, just tell them Thorzak sent you. So there you go, all right. So anyway, we'll be checking back in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, uh, Thorzak's here again, and 
I just want to let you guys know that um, we're heading down to Wenatchee right now, and off to the left-hand side here, if you can see it uh, through the through the trees there, uh, that's the Wenatchee River. So anyway, um, one thing I wanted to tell you guys: fruit. Okay, that's the main deal over here is fruit. Now. These little, uh, you know, cherry orchards and apricots and apples and that sort of stuff, um, these people are, are making it, but, you know, they're not getting rich. And the little mom and pop places, they're the best places to go if you uh, want to go ahead and get some fruit, you know, for canning and stuff like that, you know, preserves and all that. Um, you can usually get, you know, uh, you know, a real deal if you just go to these different places they have a you pick thing where you go actually go out there to the trees and everything and you actually pick it yourself um, you know it really beats those fruit stands so anyway uh, as we're cruising along here um, there's another little place I want to show you so we'll be right back well guys I don't know if you can make that sign out got a little bit of a treat for you guys we are in Kashmir, Washington, and guess what that is the home to? Ellie Wilson Engages. Now you got Wilson Barrels, you got Wilson Combat, and then you have Ellie Wilson. Ellie Wilson makes, uh, you know, they make, uh, you know, reloading dies and things like that for, you know, the discriminant shooter, um, you know, your bench rest guys and stuff like that. So. Anyway, uh, I thought I might knock on the door and see if anybody's there. So, I'll be right back with you. Well guys, we're on our way back into Leavenworth. Uh, we went to Wenatchee and uh, we stopped in um, Kashmir. And uh, we went to a little gun shop down there in um, Wenatchee and ended up getting some 4320 uh, powder for the 75 by 55 now one thing I will say as we're cruising through here, this is Leavenworth, okay, you know, we're, we're, we're starting to go into Leavenworth here, little German town, okay, it's a little tourist place. Guys, I do not see one, not one, storm drain. There is no storm drains up here. You know, I mean, over in Seattle and like, you know, where I'm from, I mean, about every 60, 75 80 feet on a street like this you'll see a storm drain you know and here you just don't see them they're just they're just not around i mean you know it just i guess it just doesn't rain that much here but i'll tell you what you know i mean that's the one thing i noticed is that there is no storm drains so anyway um you guys get a chance you live in Washington State or you, you live in a you know you live in a state nearby um, this is pretty cool I mean it's a pretty cool little place to go and spend a few days uh, and it's like any place else I think that if you spent more than three or four days here you know you probably pretty much see in everything so um, yeah I like this little place it's nice nice sunshiny weather be nice and dry you know you don't feel like you're all stuffed up and <sighs> really is a breath of fresh air so anyway uh, we'll be back I'm heading back to the um, heading back to the uh, mot motel right now so I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower and get ready and maybe go out and get something to eat somewhere so anyway uh, I'll be checking back in with you guys Well, hey guys, here we are. We're at King Ludwig's, and uh, let me go ahead and get this kind of focused out a little bit. And as you can see, this is their beer garden. This is where you go, and they have their parties and dancing and all that stuff. You know, just right up here in Leavenworth. Uh, they got fabulous food here. If you like northern um, German food. It's a little heavier, you know, they have sauces and that sort of thing on their food. This is the place to eat, it really is. So, let's go ahead and head on up here. 
one of our waitresses. Hello. <laughs> So we're in the dining area. The typical German setting. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take a look at what I've got for a meal. All right. So here we go. If you ever wondered what Sauerbraten is, this is Sauerbraten. It's uh, served with spaddle, wine kraut, this is wine kraut. It's like sauerkraut, but it's the uh, red cabbage. And then the uh, sauerbraten is beef, but it's soaked in, um, it's marinated in wine. And it's just, this is fabulous. This is really good stuff. So I'm gonna get to eating. So anyway, King Ledwig's here in Leavenworth. It's a great place to go. Now I'm, like I said, I'm here in the middle of the day. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. There isn't anybody here, but I'll tell you what, you come in here after like six o'clock on a Friday night, it is packed. People are waiting in line all the way out on the street. So, anyway, I'm gonna get to eating, so here we go. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something. This is the most fabulous sauerkraut I've ever had. This is perfect, it's perfect. The, uh, uh, um, this is what they call uh, spatin. And this is a, uh, it's, it's kind of like an egg noodle, but they, it's, it, they boil it and it's these little, uh, it's these little, uh, you know, beads of, 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 you know, noodle. And then your wine kraut and then, the, you know, you got your uh, sauerkraut. This is awesome. This is, this is the best tasting that I've, I've, I've ever had. This is awesome. King Ludwig's. So, you're up here, you gotta you have to try that. Okay guys, dessert time, and if you guys seem to think you know what apple strudel is, well guess again, take a look at that monster, oh that's going to go down good, it's got the vanilla sauce, and as you can see all the apple and everything, you know, with the, you know, it's served hot, you know, you can see the steam coming off of it. I'm going to enjoy this. Look at that. That is just awesome. It almost looks too good to eat. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get started on my dessert, and I'll be checking back in on you guys later. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to have to take a little break here. I'm going to tell you what, the apples have a little touch of sourness to them, but they have the sweetness of them, and it's just, it tastes so fresh, it's, it's awesome. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah. So anyway, that was my lovely waitress, so we'll leave a good tip, and I might end up taking this uh, off in a doggy bag, and I'll tell you what, the, uh, the sauce is a buttercream sauce in vanilla. And you know, it when you let it run off the spoon, you can see, you know, it, it, this is homemade, this is authentic, it's very good, very good. And that cinnamon and everything that's tossed in there, it's not sweet, you know, it's not really sweet, but it's a real uh, hearty dessert. So, anyway, I'm gonna get back to this and I'll be checking back in. Stay tuned.